learn here lead anywhere so we were basically speaking about the uh, applications of arduino okay so how arduino can be used in home automation <clears throat> So exactly, basically, if you have, uh, let's say you have an AC or a fridge or your microwave that you need to control from home and you can't, you don't have anything that is inbuilt in these devices. So you need some external hardware and you need to program that hardware accordingly so that you can just control your devices at your home. Okay, so there is a system and you need to use an Android app through which can provide you a user interface. Okay, from which you can be able to do that so you know nowadays people have smartphones with them all the time so it makes sense to use these to control home appliances like uh, we have so hardware requirement for a normal home appliances we need Arduino Uno we need Bluetooth we need relay board tungsten bulbs connecting wires and AC power supplies okay <clears throat> and the working and all we can see later on on the projects and then there is sensor prototyping you can prototype your sensors that uh, that are used for various sensors like light sensors smoke sensors proximity sensors so you can prototype your sensors accordingly and Arduino chips are used in robots as you all know that the functionality is basically the same and you just need to program it accordingly however you want it and it is used in ISP programming so ISP programming and Wi-Fi and other connectivity things, those are related to networking. They are the most important parts and functions of Arduino. So ISP programming, so the ISP about how you can just uh, keep on your network safe, that is done using Arduino. So you have Wi-Fi, GSM, Ethernet, Bluetooth, Zigbee connectivity. So they can be done also using Arduino. So now we have the remote control robots. <clears throat> so, you know, an autonomous robot is despite it's autonomous, not very clever or intelligent unit, but then the robot memory and the brain capacity is usually limited. An autonomous robot can be compared to an insect in that respect. In case a robot needs to perform more complicated yet undetermined tasks, an autonomous robot is not the right choice. So complicated tasks are still best performed by human beings with a real brain power because that is true see I like I gave you the example of a doctor who can just operate on a person sitting in another room or in another part of country okay so a person can guide a robot by remote control a person can perform difficult and usually dangerous tasks without being at a spot where the tasks are performed to detonate a bomb it is safer to send a robot to the danger area so that we won't lose any human lives. Yeah, so if there is anything that we need to look, we just need the things for the benefits and we need something to get out of it. So robots offer specific benefits to workers, industries and countries. And if introduced correctly, industrial robots can improve the quality of life by freeing workers from dirty, boring and dangerous and heavy labor. But the downside of robots is that the labor cost surely goes down, but the people lose their jobs. So it is true that robots can cause unemployment by replacing human workers, but robots are create also create jobs. That is robot technicians, salesmen, engineers, programmers and supervisors. So the benefits of robots to industry include improved management control and productivity and consistently high quality products. Industrial robots can work tirelessly night and day on an assembly line without a loss in performance. Consequently, they can uh, greatly reduce the cost of manufactured goods. As a result of these industrial benefits, countries that effectively use robots in their industries will have an economic advantage on the work market. Learn here, lead anywhere.